so if you were watching my last videos that I posted, you saw that I made these really, really, really fun coasters. And I made these sizes smaller than these because I want to put this pretty little flower vase that I have on it. But you can also use them as coasters for coffee mugs or big vases or big coffee mugs because I love my coffee and I love the very big cups. Anyway, so I love, love, love these. I love how they turned out. If you're following me on, on Instagram, Annie's Art Studio, you'll see really close-up pictures of these. If you've watched my last videos on YouTube, you'll see them too. They're absolutely gorgeous. The cells came out so incredible. I'm really happy if you couldn't tell with them. So, what I want to do now is do a really quick little tutorial on art resin because I want to cover them and make them look like this little beauty that I did a few tutorials ago. Um, just it makes the colors pop out and it's beautiful and shiny and I love it. So I've done an in-depth tutorial on resin so I'm going to put a link to that description in, this, um, in the description of this video but I am going to go through the basics but it's going to be a really quick one guys, okay? So a few things that you need is first for this to stay in its place so, we're going to need your art resin. Art resin comes in two parts, a hardener and the resin portion. I'm going to go over how we mix that. You need your little torch, and this torch that I use, guys, is um, called Burnzomatic. It's a butane torch. There's no air that comes out of it. It's just the little fire that I'm going to use to take the air bubbles out of the resin. You're going to need two cups of this, the same cup, a mixing stick. You need your level to make sure that your um, canvas or your wood piece is leveled and you're going to need a pair of gloves. So after we're done with everything I have these two shoe boxes that I've cleaned and washed to make sure they're not um, dirty or have dust in them. After we're done I am going to very carefully cover each one like so because it takes about 72 hours for this to cure. Um, after about 8 hours you can move it a little bit but until that 8 hours any dust that's around, if you walk next to it or if you have a pet like I do, they're going to run around, all their little furs go up in the air, you don't see it, but after it dries you see the little hairs in there, the little particles, the dust, so um, we don't want that, so we're going to cover them and that's what I'm going to do. So with this big one, I couldn't find a box big enough for it, so I used a really big Tupperware. So if you're going to use a bigger piece, you got to kind of get creative, but you can figure it out. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so first thing, what I like to do is use these cups, they're like the red cups, but I like the clear white ones that I get from the dollar store just because I can see through it. What I'm going to do is I am going to fill um, a certain amount, like I guess till the first line in both equal parts, and then I'm going to mix it in one, okay? So that way I have enough to cover both of these. And because the cups are the same, because they're the same, and if, it, if I fill them to the same area, they're going to be the equal amounts of both. Because if one part of this is too much, or it's more than the other, it doesn't cure correctly, it doesn't mix correctly, so you have to be very, very careful on the mixture of this, guys. So guys, a little bit about why I love this brand. I've used other brands before. Ooh. Other brands, I find that they burn my skin they smell absolutely horrible and the smell is the worst part because it gives you a headache and just not fun. Um, so this resin does not turn yellow. There's absolutely no smell to it. It doesn't burn. Also you have 45 minutes to work with it which is incredible for resin. Other resins they start drying as soon as you start mixing them. So this is really really great. I love 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 art resin. So if you're not already following them on Instagram guys their Instagram, I think, is art underscore resin. So make sure you check that out. Get back here. They're pretty fantastic. They put fun videos out every Friday. They do all sorts of different tutorials on different things you could do with them. They go live all the time. They're just awesome. Okay, so now let's do this. Make sure you scrape that cup really, really well, guys, because resin is expensive, and we want the amounts that we pour to be absolutely equal to each other, because, you know, again, we want it to cure correctly, mostly because it's expensive. You don't want to waste any of it, right? Okay, guys, so now is the toughest part of art resin, or any resin. You have to mix this for three minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my phone, 
and I'm going to go to my clock, and I'm going to run a three minute timer. You have to mix it for three minutes, guys. It's very, very important. Um, if you don't mix it for three minutes, it's not going to mix correctly, and again, it's not going to cure correctly. You're going to hear me saying that over and over and over again. Um, three minutes, okay? So put a stopwatch, put a song on, do a little dance, just keep mixing. It also gives you arm workout, so it's going to be fantastic, okay? So three minutes, here we go. So while you're mixing, guys, another thing, don't just mix in circles, make sure you scrape the sides because if one part of the resin stays there and it's not really mixing, it's a thicker material, um, again, it'll stay sticky on your canvas or on your wood piece or your art piece and we don't want that. Alright, so let's get mixing. Okay, so five more seconds. Okay. So once you mix for three minutes, guys, you're going to see a lot of bubbles in your resin, and don't worry about it, okay? So that's what we have our handy-dandy little torch for, right? So you're going to see the consistency of the resin is this beautiful, soft, it runs really easily, it's not thick, it's pretty clear besides the bubbles, right? So I love this texture. I love this part. Okay, so let's put our little gloves on. And again, the resin doesn't burn or anything, but it's super, super sticky. So um, you just don't want to get it everywhere because it's hard to take off. And, you know, as you see, I have like white paper laid down all over my desk. So protect your desk. Protect anything around the area that you don't want resin on. Take it away. It gets everywhere sometimes, you know what I mean? So especially just like the dust, it's sticky and gloves. Okay, so I'm going to move these so I can have more room. Okay, so I want to make sure that these are going to be far enough from each other so that I can put my boxes on. So do measurement. So then once you put it down, you don't have to move it again, just because it's going to be liquidy and, you know, you don't want extra anything bumping into it or an extra movement. All right. So here we go. Let's do this one first. So let's make sure that we are leveled. So I just have my little wood pieces sitting on something that's going to be in the middle so when the resin drops off of it it drops onto down here and not um it's not stuck so if i did this and i poured my resin this way resin naturally falls off it drips off and if it's going to come on here it's going to stick onto that and my piece is going to stick onto the table or to the canvas or whatever you have underneath it so just any two little items and just put it up there so i'll just make sure that we're I have. Thank you. <laughs> that was my dad. And he brought me a peach from our garden. So I'll eat that later. Thanks, Dad. Okay. So let's see. So let's move this around, make sure we're nice and even. There we go, that works there. That one's pretty even. Okay, fantastic. Okay, guys. So let's do another little stir. And again, you have 45 minutes to do this, so you don't have to rush. And take your time. Okay. All right, here we are. I'm going to do one piece at a time. So pretty. I love putting the resin on here, guys, just because it literally all the colors pop up again. Have you noticed that when you paint or if you pour while you're pouring, your paint is vibrant and bright, but once it dries, it kind of becomes matte, or mostly matte, unless you're, you have like a gloss or something in 
your piece, but um, once you put the resin on it, all of that beauty comes back up, all of those co colors, and I love, love, love that. Make sure it's nice and even. Don't be afraid to move the resin around, guys. It eventually like levels out because it's, it's liquid, but you want to get all the edges, you want to get all the corners, especially if you're um, using a canvas piece. Make sure you get all of that. All right, I want to get... I'm going to use my gloves. I'm wearing gloves for a reason. Let's do this. is that you guys so I always say since your table is you're gonna make sure your table is super super clean right guys before you do resin um, when resin spills on there you don't be afraid to just literally pick it up and put it back on the piece that you want or on the area that you want nothing's gonna happen to it it's clean resin It is going to drip a little bit. What I like to do is I like to clean the bottom of it as, like, I'll take my gloves off and I'll wait a few minutes. As it's dropping, I'll just, like, try to clean the bottom of it and then I'll cover it. But eventually you have these little drops that'll dry on the bottom. So what I do usually, I'll get, like, a pair of pliers or something. I'll cut that little piece on the bottom and then you just get, like, a file or you get, like, a sandpaper and you just sand it off a little bit. You just smooth the bottom out and you're all set. Okay. So, let me see. So I have a little bit of extra resin, which I'm going to torch these right now to get the bubbles out, and then I'm actually going to use that on a third piece. So I'm going to very carefully take my gloves off, because I don't want to get sticky on my fingers, because now I'm going to hold my torch, and we don't want that to get sticky. All right. So I'm going to bring the camera closer so you guys can see. Okay, guys, here we go. So now, once again, I always tell you guys this, when you get your torch, guys, you don't torch down like this. I want, let me show you what happens when you, if you just torch down like this, it's going to start burning. No matter what you do, it's going to start burning somewhere, so don't do that. What we're going to do is, you put your torch on, and you're going to put it sideways, and you're going to just move it around really quickly. You don't stay in one spot ever over a split second. You just keep going over, and you can come back to that piece, and that's to, to that area, and that's fine. We're just going to keep moving and you'll see all, you'll see movement happening, but that movement is just all the little air bubbles coming out of your piece. You get that beautiful gold coming out. I love this. Okay, let's do this one now. There we go. And guys, another tip, don't be afraid, don't look at your piece from just up here. Don't be afraid to bend down a little, look at it sideways, because when you do, you'll see little other air bubbles that you didn't get before. 
So you just keep doing that. And guys, so when you also do this, just in case you find a little hair, or a little particle, or anything, again, you have 45 minutes to work with this resin, so don't be afraid to put your fingers in there, get a pair of like, you know, little clippers, something, and just pick it up, because the resin will go right back and um, cover it all up. Okay. Okay, so I, again, I just like to clean the bottom. I'll wait a few minutes, make sure there's not a lot of movement in the area. So again, nothing, no dust comes on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with my little boxes. Okay guys, so I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. So I gave you the basic tips of how to do resin on these little wood pieces that I have, the basics you need to use any sort of resin. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and share on your Facebook page, and I will see you guys soon.